Assalamualaikum everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial. So I initially wanted to do a get ready with me where I speed up the video and kind of see what I'm doing. Um, me getting ready for the day, blah blah blah. But I was in the mood to do a makeup tutorial. So I know um, my recent videos were like... Um, talk through makeup tutorials but I thought today I would also do that because I really enjoy um, talking in front of the camera so yeah the first thing that I will be doing is of course priming my face as usual I'm gonna use my makeup forever HD primer this one is in the shade zero the eye primer that I'll be using is my Too Faced shadow insurance Eyeshadow primer. Um, I'm gonna do my brows first. For for the brows, I will be using my Hourglass Sculpting Pencil. This one is in Soft Brunette. For the eyes, I will be using my Sigma Warm Neutrals Palette. Ta-da! So these are all the colors in this palette. So it's more of a warm neutral color like the name suggests. Using a cream base color to apply all over my eyelid just to help the other eyeshadows blend a little bit better. This one which is called Cream Milk. So I like to use a blending brush when I'm applying uh, this type of color like just a very light base because um, it's very easy to just blend everything. The next color that I will be putting on my crease is this shade called Cozy and I'm gonna apply this on my crease area just to give a little bit of definition. And I'm just going to kind of blend it in front. What I'm going to do is taking a darker color. And this darker color will go into my outer V a little bit. So I'm going to take this shade. This one is called Russet. So this one, this color is kind of like a maroonish burgundy shade. Take a tiny bit of that with another um, blending brush. Just on the tip of my brush, I'm tapping off any excess because I just want a little bit just to define the outer corner a little bit. And I'm kind of blending it upwards. So as you can see, it's more defined and yeah, it's very nice. So this is what I want. And I'm going to take the same shade, which is this brown one, with this brush. I'm just going to blend the outer edges a little bit. I am taking this a little bit higher above my crease because I have a very small eye, a double lid, so it's kind of like not much space from the brow. I tell this all the time. So if you have a same like kind of eye shape as mine, you can definitely do this trick because um, if I were to apply this just below, like when I look straight, you won't, you can't really see um, my eyeshadow as well. My eyes are small, so it's it kind of makes sense like that. You want to blend, so if you don't blend, it's going to look like you have a raccoon eyes. But nobody wants to look like a raccoon, right? Or a panda. Yeah. With the same um, cream shade, just a little bit, I am going to apply this underneath my brow bone. Just to highlight, just taking a just a kind of shading brush and I'm just gonna pat this just on the center of my lid 
Okay guys, so I went ahead and applied my eyeliner and my mascara because I just want to skip that and you guys have seen me do that a million of times. So before I put on foundation, I want to kind of cover up my under eye circles a little bit and I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown BBU palette. I'm going to use this shade um, which is almost gone. It's dark peach. I'm just using a big fluffy brush to apply this under my eyes. As you can see, this side is much brighter than this side. It's much brighter. Okay, so for foundation, I want to use Hello Flawless uh, foundation. This one is from Benefit. It's in the, ooh. ooh! This one is in the shade Champagne. I'm going to apply with my Beauty Blender. Stipple this all my on my face. I'm gonna apply another layer of foundation just on my cheeks because, as you guys can see, I have some uneven skin tone and a bit of scarring. So I just want to cover that more. Taking it under my eyes slightly. Just use it's the age rewind. Just gonna scrunch my nails in. And I'm gonna powder under my eyes first, and I will be using my Ben Nye banana powder as usual under eyes. And for under my eyes, I'll always pack, like tap the brush instead of just brushing through so that the product will kind of sink in. The bronzer that I'll be using is my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. I'm going to use my NARS EDA brush with the same bronzer. Just For blush, um, I want to stick to kind of like a dark tone-ish. And I'm going to use my MAC. Um, this one is a mineralized blush. This one is in Love Joy. my brush and just brush everything through I kind of like a lot of blush but not this much it has toned down a little bit I'm gonna use my Becca shimmering skin perfector in opal I'm actually going to take a little bit of the maroon shade I'm going to take this shade and I'm going to put that on my inner corner as an inner corner highlight Okay, so now to finish off, the fun part is the dark lip so for any dark lip, you want to always line your lips so it won't bleed and it's just going to help your um, lipstick go on a little bit more, a little bit better. My MAC uh, Sin Lipstick and I'm going to pair it up with my NYX uh, Deep Purple Lip Liner.
it guys this is the finished look i really really like it um yeah you can totally pair this uh look like this eye with um, a nude lip or a pink lip or a coral lips this is just what i like i hope you guys enjoy my video and give it a thumbs up if you guys like it and i will see you guys in the next video